Life with Jamie and the Boys. So, we are in a collaboration um, that is called Ultimate Cookies 23, um, hosted by CNC Farms, which is Ashley. Um, I do want to thank you for letting me be a part of this. Um, I love making cookies. Um, I love making different type of cookies, let me put it that way. <laughs> Um, so today my video is going to be on um, ginger doodle cookies, okay? Um, they looked really good in the picture, but I found a good recipe that I wanted to try. Um, so I will have the playlist linked below in the description box along with the participating participating. <laughs> Um, channels that are going to be in the collaboration as well. Uh, Miss Ashley over at CNC Farm is also going to have a giveaway on 12-20-2023 using the random comment picker. So if you guys would, as you're watching the videos, please leave a legit, genuine comment on each video so that you'll be, you'll have a better chance of winning a prize. Um, that video will be posted 1221 for the winners. Um, so if you guys would just please leave a genuine comment on each, uh, video, um, that way, because if you leave the same thing on every video, they're going to be like, oh, well, that one's the same thing, so you're not going to get picked. So leave a very genuine comment. Um, so this is my second year doing the, um, a collaboration with the cookies. Uh, last year it was 12 Days of Cookies. This year it's the hashtag Ultimate Cookies 23. And I think that is awesome. So thank you, Ashley, over at CNC Farms for letting me be a part of this. So we are going to go ahead and get started with our cookies. Um, like I said, mine are the Gender Doodle cookies. I found this recipe on Pinterest by... What is their name? By Jessica Cigar Cigara, maybe? The the Novice Chef. Um, so I'm going to go over what you're going to need for this recipe, and then we'll jump into the actual video. Alright, so you are going to need two and one-fourth cup of flour, all-purpose flour. Okay, and then in this little bowl I have everything that I need that's going to go in mixed in with the flour first except for cinnamon I do not have cinnamon but I have cinnamon sugar so I'm going to have to just use cinnamon sugar alright so I have in this bowl right here alright let me do this I have in the middle is the uh, what is that clove ground clove which is a fourth of a teaspoon, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Yes. Yes. One fourth teaspoon of cloves. Eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Tablespoon of cornstarch. Two teaspoons of baking soda. One teaspoon of ground ginger half a teaspoon of salt okay sorry and then you guys are going to need two teaspoons of your favorite vanilla extract we I use the Mexican vanilla because it is stronger and you can actually taste the vanilla in the cookies or anything that you make so that's two teaspoons of vanilla Baking, or now you've got the baking soda and all that. Okay, um, three fourths cup of it says light brown sugar, but I only have dark brown, so and I'm not going to buy a whole nother thing of brown sugar. I've already got brown sugar, or you can make it at home with granulated sugar and molasses. That's all you need. Um, so three fourths cup of brown sugar. 
This recipe calls for a fourth a cup of molasses. I don't want to tilt that because it's going to fall out. One large egg. And three-fourths cup of unsalted butter. So that's one whole stick and then a half of a block, half of a stick of unsalted butter. And it needs to be softened. This is not quite softened yet, but I've had it been sitting out for quite some time now. Um, and then you're also going to need a fourth a cup of white sugar as well. Um, the recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon divided, both of them divided, because in the end you're going to use half of the sugar and half of the uh, cinnamon to make like a cinnamon sugar. I already make my cinnamon sugar pre-done, pre so I don't even need the cinnamon honestly. So I'm just going to put two teaspoons of this in when I mix everything together and then use this to roll the cookies in. You'll see it later. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into this. Um, I do not know where my um, camera stand is so you guys are going to be kind of propped up right now so hopefully we can figure this out together. Alright so I am going to go over the instructions actually. So you need your oven preheated to 350 degrees with two cookie sheets lined with parchment paper or a silicone baking mat, um, whatever you prefer to use. I'm just going to use the parchment paper because I have parchment paper. One second. Okay, sorry y'all. So, you're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees with your baking sheet uh, with parchment paper or silicone. Don't, don't do that. Go in there. Um, in a medium sized bowl, whisk together your two and one fourth cup of flour, your cornstarch, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg, which is all in this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and dump in here because that's everything. I just called out, except for the cinnamon. So we're going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon sugar because I do not have um, regular cinnamon. So we're just going to have to do, what is this? This is a half a teaspoon, so we'll do four half teaspoons of this because it's got most sugar. Mostly cinnamon in it. We'll do one teaspoon. One teaspoon of this cinnamon sugar because I don't have any cinnamon. Alright, so you're going to whisk that together. Make sure it's all combined in there, nothing, no clumps or anywhere. You could probably actually put this in your sifter. And sift it into the bowl that way it gets it all incorporated but we're packing so I don't have mine out it is in a box and I'm not opening a box so we are going to use what we got so all right so now that you got that all mixed together the third step is in a small bowl well, that's for your cinnamon sugar, so you don't even, we're not doing that. I'm not, because I have my cinnamon sugar already done. So, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to pour some cinnamon sugar in the, I'll probably do. was about a half of a third third a cup. I don't know what that is, so 
half of a third cup of cinnamon sugar that I made out of this, but the recipe is in a small bowl, combine one fourth cup of white sugar and the remaining one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that together and set it aside because that's for later. So, we have our cinnamon sugar here in this bowl. And I'm going to set it, that's no counter space right now, um, right here on the side. Okay. Fourth step. If you have a stand mixer, in a stand mixer, cream, butter, brown sugar, and remaining one-fourth cup of white sugar until light and fluffy. I do not have a stand mixer, so we're going to go old-fashioned and do it with a hand mixer, okay? Or you could do it with a whisk. Um, but that's probably going to take, like, at least five minutes to do. Um, so that, with this, it should only take maybe two to three minutes to get it fluffy. So we're about to do that. Um, let me get a bowl. My clean bowl right here. I don't know. I may need to wait a few minutes because this is not even... Can you put this in the, in the microwave to soften it? I think so. No. I'll put it in the microwave. I need a microwave sick bowl. It's the craziest thing. This has been sitting out for 30 minutes. That's how cold it is in my house right now. It's not even... I could warm it with my hands. <laughs> my hands stay pretty warm. My hands are clean, so. And I'm only cooking this for me. Making this for my family. Go, go, go! Alright. Is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? Uh, I know I am. I'm ready. Right now, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and I am so ready. <laughs> Um, so I'm sure you don't want to, like, melt this all the way, but it needs to be softened, and I don't, I need a bigger bowl. Place this in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Mom, I fell. Oh, you'll be okay. We did 15 seconds, so that shouldn't take too long. Um, so it says cream, butter, brown sugar, and remaining. Alright, there's the brown sugar going in. I got dishes to do today. I got to do dishes today. Let's see if I have a one fourth cup in here. Because my one fourth cup is actually being used right now for the uh, molasses. It's a little mind boggling. Let's see 
that's the third cup. And I need a fourth. I need a fourth of a cup. I know half of a half a cup is a fourth a cup. Hold on, let me, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I just had to move the molasses into a, into the third cup, so now I know what one fourth is out of a third cup. So, one fourth cup of white sugar, and you're going to cream this together, okay? I'm not going to do this on the video because it's going to be really loud. And, um... So, I will be right back. Okay. So, this light's not really that bright. But it is light and fluffy, as you can see. Okay. So, next is to add... Okay, and so light and fluffy, which it's about there, it's there. Add molasses, egg, and vanilla extract. Mixing until well combined. Slowly add in dry ingredients to wet ingredients and mix until fully combined. Okay, so you're going to add in your vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, that's that. Your fourth a cup of molasses. Add that into the mixture. I hope these cookies are so good. They look good on the picture. It's already starting to smell good. Okay. Put that in the sink. I'm going to scrape this off. Okay, and then you're going to add your egg, which I have here. No, I did not go ahead and crack it. Why? Because, I don't know, I just didn't. So, take a paper plate and drop it. Alright, one egg. No shells. Remember... Don't put the shell in the, in the mixture. <laughs> I've done that before. Alright, so we are going to mix this together. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after mixing the egg, the vanilla, and the molasses. And then we'll cut, join back in and do the flour. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mix this and I'll be right back. This Anna. looks delicious already. <laughs> What, Micah? That, no. Nope, not, not, not yet. That looks beautiful. So that is with the egg, the molasses, and the vanilla. Alright, so now we're going to gradually add in our flour mixture. Because um, you don't want to add it all and it just go whoosh, right in front of your face. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video right here. Add in a little at a time of the flour. And then when I got the flour all incorporated, I'll show you guys what the next step is. Okay? We'll be back. Okay. So, I think this is about where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm just kind of scraping the sides down right now. I've incorporated all of the flour. So, I feel like this is the right consistency it's supposed to be at. I'll show you in just a second. Probably have to go in with my hands and sticky, doughy kind of look to it. Um, so I'm just incorporating what was on the very bottom of the bowl that the mixer did not get to. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies! You're not having fun if you're not making a mess. I can say that. I have made a mess. I've got flour all over my shirt. 
sweatshirt. I don't know. This feels like it's the right consistency because it's, it's not. It's not like. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, we are ready to make these cookies. I've got my oven already preheated to three se three fifty, not three seventy five. I needed it on 375 yesterday when I did my, or the other day when I did my tortellini bake. I was going to video my tortellini bake, but my phone was not cooperating. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And then I'm going to get my dirty dishes in the sink. And we will bring you guys right back, okay? I'll be right back. So I got my cookie sheet right here. I've only got one because my other one is packed up. And I thought I had parchment paper already opened somewhere. Hold on just a second. Let me find it. Okay, I found it. This way I don't have to... This way I don't have to, um... You know. Worry about spraying the pan and all that junk. So we got our parchment paper laid down onto our um, pan, and it says to use a medium-sized um, cookie scoop. I don't have one. I have an ice cream scoop, but I guess I could try to do small half batches of this and roll it up. I, st I feel like that's a huge cookie. I feel like it's going to be a huge cookie. I think I'm going to break that in half. Like, take a quarter off of that. Alright, and then what you're going to do, that, look at that, that looks like a swirl. Now, this is where your cinnamon sugar mixture comes in. You're gonna roll your doll, doll, your dough ball into the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so basically just coating the cookie. with cinnamon sugar, just like that. And then you're going to place it about two inches apart from each other. And then you're going to bake it for, uh, it says ten minutes. But everybody's, uh, ovens are different, so it may take longer. It may not even take that long. I know it may take maybe eleven or twelve minutes for mine. I have another uh, recipe that I want to try for my YouTube channel too when I'm done with this collaboration. I want to try, um, it's a, a dip, a sweet dip. This is not hard at all and you can also, I was going to show you guys, if you wanted to you can make a whole sheet cookie and then cut out some shapes. That's a stocking, Christmas tree, Santa Claus, snowman, um, stars, gingerbread man, muff mitten thing, another snowman, and I also have this little truck. If you guys hear anything in the background, that's my kids in the background playing. So. Back. Okay, so you can always cut them out if you want to, or you can just make regular circle cookies. Um, I mean, if if depending how big these cookies get, I might cut one out or so. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do the first batch in the round cookies, and go from there. They 
smell so good. They smell like ginger. So, make sure you guys, again, you know, make sure y'all go check out the other collaborators too in this, in this collaboration because this is, I love being in the cookie collaboration. This is my favorite. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this because we're moving and everything. But I was like, I am not doing anything today, so I'm just going to do these cookies. Go ahead and get my video done and out of the way. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's not one doing it, it's the other doing it to the other one, or they're both doing it to each other. It's just... Stop it! If you have young kids, you know what I'm talking about. Or had young kids at one point in your life, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They argue over the smallest little things. Over a blanket. Over a toy. Over a chair. But that's mom life for ya. Anyways, so yeah, make sure you guys leave a legit comment on the on each video so that you can get Sorry about that y'all. Micah decided he wanted to be a dinosaur. Crazy children. Anyways, make sure you guys leave a legit comment on each video so that you can get picked to win a prize. I'm not sure what the prizes are gonna be. Um but she's doing the giveaway video on 12-20 and the winner's video I think will be posted on the 21st of December. So, um, that way, you know, whatever the prizes are going to be, and you might get a whole nother baking set or gift card for uh, a baking shop or something. You never know what you're going to get. Alright, so I have six, seven. I'll probably fit one more on here. I don't know how big these are going to expand. This is a pretty neat recipe. I, it was, I think this was fun for me. I like making cookies. I like making bread. I like making um, all kinds of stuff. Alright, so now we're going to place in our oven at 350 for 10 minutes first to see how they look. We're going to do 10 minutes. So, um, while we are waiting on that, I thought about making maybe a drizzle to go on top, like a, a powdered sugar icing to go on top, because you never know, it might be good. So, we're going to try to do that. Um, I don't have another small bowl. I'll be right back. Have a little butter in it. A little butter doesn't help hurt nothing. Alright, so we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do a whole lot because I don't want it to be like overwhelmingly too sweet, you know? So we're just gonna do a couple heaping spoonfuls. It's roughly about four tablespoons of that 
to, I think it's milk. I'm going to grab a milk. We're going to start out with two tablespoons of milk. One, two. All right, and then we're going to mix that together. If you need, if it's too runny, add more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, add a little bit more milk. So that was about maybe two or three heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of milk. I may do another tablespoon of powdered sugar because this is kind of a little too runny for me. So I'm going to grab another spoon and grab, I'm just going to grab about that much more and add that to that. I got to sit down today too and watch the videos that have already been put out kind of behind. We've Got, had so much stuff going on this, this month. I almost forgot about my cookie video, honestly, until I thought about it yesterday and I was like, oh, I need to do that. And we're going to a friend's house for Thanksgiving, so um, I thought about making these cookies. So I wanted to try them first before I make them and take them over there and they're like, ooh, these are nasty. So if they're nasty, I'll tell you. I'll tell you if they're nasty. I still got to put the video out, so. I think they're going to be good, though. I think they're going to be delicious. Okay, so. This is about the consistency you want it. Alright, so where it's able to just be, you know, drizzled on top of a cookie. Or cinnamon rolls. Mmm, that would have been good. A cinnamon roll cookie. Maybe. I'm going to find a recipe and then we're going to do it together. Mm -mm -mm. This doesn't really have a smell. But them cookies do smell good. I will tell you that. They smell they smell good over there. Alright, so you just want to make sure that this is well incorporated together. There's no chunks, no lumps in it of powdered sugar. Which there's a few, but I'll fix that in a minute. Alright, so we've got about five more minutes on the cookies. And I'll bring you guys back in about five minutes so that we can see what they look like and uh, do a taste test. We'll be back. Okay, y'all. Let's see what these look like. Ooh, that looks delicious oh. oh I'm so glad I made this <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> they look super 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 good oh and they're fluffy we all know who likes fluffy cookies mm -hmm. well not everybody likes fluffy cookies some people like the crunchy cookies Sorry, no dropped. Sorry about that. Alright, now I'm going to set this down. Now, I think this battery in this thing is dying. I'm not even sure. Hold on, let me look at something. Much better. The batteries were going bad. 
Okay. I'm just going. I'm just gonna bring you guys down so you guys can see the beauty of these. Hold on. Look at how beautiful those look. Golden brown. These gonna be some good old cookies. All right, we're gonna try it without the icing on it and with the icing on it. Okay. So. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Perfect round it's even got the little cracks in it oh my goodness are you gonna cut them mm, not, mm, mm. I'm so excited okay so we're gonna do half of the cookie drizzled with the powdered sugar uh, You want to try one too, Miguel? Mm -hmm. so grab your stool. I'm so excited. Like, this turned out great. Perfect, Excuse even. Me. Just set it right there, honey. Alright. I got you in the corner of the video, so. Hold on. Now you can see a little bit of both of us. Okay, so the drizzle side, you can see it's kind of like wet. And then the regular side. So let's try the regular side first. Okay. Can I try it? That is so good. Oh my it? goodness, Miguel, try that. It's a little warm. What you think? Is it good? It is good. It is very good. So, 100% success. I think they could have probably sat in there maybe like one more minute for the middle part. But I mean, if you're if you like the ooey gooey in the middle, mm. oh. I mean, look at that. Look at how delicious that is. Oh my god, I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Mmm. Brenda's coming down. Okay. That was very good. I think that my husband would actually like those because they're not very sweet. The bigger Jimmy. Um, Jimmy. Yep, that is a gingerbread man. So, like I said, so you can do these. So big. Because they are. You can make, actually take a little cut, cut out. You want to, you want a mitten? Uh, I want a mitten. Where's the mitten? I got it right here. No, I'm talking about the, the, the mitten where I put it in your drawer. Do I this is it. Do I, Micah! Micah, you want to try some? Just stay away. Ooh, yummy cookie. It's a cookie. I'm a big So here, mm. spikies in the head. It's good with the sim it's good with the um the drizzle on top too. Beep, beep, beep. Um It's time to catch that. I'd say about a minute longer, so about What's eleven it? or twelve minutes. Miguel. I'd say about eleven or twelve minutes. Alright, well, we hope you guys like this video. So, we hope you like the video. Okay. So. My Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree.
Okay, that was a success. Um, I have more to make. And, um, hold on just a second. Okay. I think you guys can see me better this way. Alright, so that was a success. And, um... Okay, sorry. One more time. <laughs> Not everybody screaming. So... If you guys like this this video, or even try this cookie, y'all let me know in the comments, because this was a success for me. Um, it was really good, and I have... Okay, Micah, go in there, watch your movie, hold on. Go in there and watch your movie. Okay, sorry y'all. Um, it just got really sunny here. Um, anyway, so I still have a good bit of batter left to do, um, so, but, this could probably make 24 cookies. If you do them smaller, it might make 36, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'd say about this size is like the best size for them. Um, but, mm, they smell so good. And... I wouldn't do the drizzle on top unless you're about to eat it right then and there because you don't want it to be all sticky in the bowl and uh, yeah so I didn't drizzle all of them with this uh, the with this the icing um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to make these um, I'll write in the comment or in the description how many it made total um, but I hope you guys have a good afternoon. Make sure y'all go check out CNC Farm. Ashley, over at CNC Farm. Um, I will have the playlist linked in the description box below. And I will also have her channel tagged in the, um, in the uh, title of the video as well. That way it's easy to go click on her channel. Um, but make sure you guys check out all the collaborators in this collaboration. Um, they are all amazing people. They are all amazing creators. They do amazing things. Um, from homesteading to cooking to uh, solar panels. You know all that stuff. So, But I'll have everybody linked in the bottom. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all.